Welcome to the Zycan Media Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Hislop. We are at the Global Petroleum Show in Calgary. Now, last year, when we were at this event, we had a chance to introduce you to our next guest, Katie Smith, and you're with Young Women in Energy. Uh, we talked about the state of women in the energy industry last time. Have things changed at all in the last year? Not specifically for women, but we are still in an economic downturn. So more than anything, our organization is needed even more now. How so? What sort of things is it that you're doing? Um, we're offering a lot of events. Um, we've actually amped up a lot of our events this year, a lot of networking opportunities, just the opportunity to connect with other like-minded people in the industry. Um, yeah. How, how do you find the mood is? Because it can be a difficult industry for women in general when you're going through a situation like now where you've got the downturn, people are being laid off. What seems to be the overall mood? To be honest, sort of um, optimistic, I think. I think people understand that eventually it will come back. Um, and we're seeing a lot of people being uh, more proactive on networking and networking before you need it is this whole concept. Uh, so our peer mentoring program is going really well. It's an informal process where you can ask other women out for coffee um, as much or as little as you want. So I think the people that want to do it use it a lot and the people who don't need to don't have to. So. Well, give us a little bit, a little bit more in depth into some of your programs and that you've got going on. Sure, so uh, next week we have um, a big panel event that we're hosting at the Marriott. Um, it's on energy entrepreneurship, innovation and collaboration. So we have a host of executives from COSIA, Synovus, Imaginia Energy, GE and the Canadian Geothermal Association. And that's moderated by one of our award winners, Anamika Mukherjee. Um, so really we're just gonna talk about what does collaboration look like in the energy space and how to be an entrepreneur within your own company. And specifically as a millennial, how do you really get buy-in from your leader for maybe an innovative new idea that you have? So. Well, let's talk, as we were getting set for this interview, you and I talked about the difference between the millennial and old people or baby boomers, we'll call them sure. <laughs> myself. Um, so what are some of the challenges facing millennials in the workplace that, that you've noticed? I think just the industry now is really complex. And so there's a lot of new technology, a lot of research being done, but what does that look like for the future? I don't think we quite know yet. So I think millennials are willing to take on the role. I just think we're not really sure as to what that future will look like for us. So how do you convince somebody that there is a future or that you believe there's a future? Because you can't go into everything thinking that it's not going to last. No, totally. I think just you see so many new and cool companies doing these interesting things that, uh, again, kind of bring back that optimism. I know Imaginia Energy is doing these uh, these solar powered pump jacks. Like it's it's combining sort of the new renewable technology, but still not entirely leaving the oil and gas space. Do you see more people coming into the workforce? Do you think a lot more of them will be heading towards the entrepreneur road as opposed to trying to find their footing in a, an established company? Yeah, or they'll still try to keep that skill set um, high level, either while in an industry or similar to what we do and use it in a volunteering capacity outside of their real job. So when we came here, we had a chance to speak with the gentleman who puts on the Global Petroleum Show. Of course, he's mentioned that attendance is down about a third. Uh, we covered another conference in Banff, the Petroleum Safety Conference. I would say it was down probably 50, 60 percent. So there's a lot of conferences that are being hit. So you can see the changes in the industry. Are you still getting people joining Young Women in Energy and, and still trying to be involved as far as the mentorship or even just trying to get their own careers ahead? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think honestly we've grown so much in the last year. I can't remember last time we chatted, I think we've probably grown over 300 members. Um, I think just the more that we get our brand out there, people know that we exist. We actually hosted an event back in November that had all these pioneering women, so these women who were either first or at the top in their industry, so they're quite a few generations older than us, but what they kept saying is that they really wished that an organization like ours um, existed back then. Katie, what can people do if they're interested in getting more information about your group? Uh, check out youngwomeninenergy.com. Uh, look to our events, our programs. We have an incredible awards program that's starting up again this year. It's our third annual. Uh, so nominate a young woman in energy who's doing really incredible things to change the industry. And then we can recognize and reward that and continue to change the face of energy. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks so much. We've been chatting with Katie Smith here on ICANN Media.